Hey guys, welcome back. All right, I'm really excited today because we're gonna do a review of the Arcade 1UP Golden Axe The Revenge of Death Adder cabinet. Now this cabinet came as a bit of a surprise because when Justin and I went to CES this year, we walked in the booth and this was the first thing we saw. It was like, bam, and I was surprised because it was a Sega cabinet. And for those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, you know I already built the Sega cabinet myself because honestly, I didn't really think Arcade 1UP would be around you know, that long. I thought it was gonna be more of a fad. Clearly, it, that's not the case, and Arcade 1UP is still going strong, but I never thought they'd release a Sega cabinet. So lo and behold, here it is. It's got Golden Axe, it's got Golden Axe or Revenge of Death Adder, Altered Beast, Shinobi, and Wrestle War. So the only game on this cabinet that's a four-player game is actually Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder, but the other games are all two-player, and one of those games, Wrestle War, is actually a vertical game versus a horizontal game. So they didn't get it 100% perfect, but it's pretty good. So as far as the software emulation, which ma what makes this cabinet special is that Code Mystics did the emulation. Now you may know other cabinets that are really good or highly rated within the Arcade 1UP line would be NBA Jam, Star Wars, and of course the Golden Axe Revenge of Death Adder. Those are all cabinets that people highly consider as some of the best cabinets out there. And the reason why is because Code Mystics is spot on with their emulation. Everything is perfect. They give exposure to dip switches, all sorts of things that you would want out of an arcade cabinet. And it seems like some of the other arcade cabinets that Arcade One puts out there, they don't expose these features. Okay, okay, enough already. Show us what it looks like, man. Come on. All right, here it is. Let's take a look at the side art first. The side art looks great. This is very much a great representation of what the original arcade artwork looked like on the side. So I got to say they did a really good job here. If you look at the graphical riser, you'll notice that the sides actually replicate the sides of the actual arcade cabinet. So the artwork sort of duplicated here twice. And although I think the artwork looks great, I wish they would have just made a flat black side panel, I think that would have just been fine. They didn't need to duplicate the artwork, but again, just a minor complaint. On the front, it's orange, and I kind of wish it was black. They're always sort of mixing the colors up, but hey, I think it looks really good anyways. And then on the front panel, you have the games list, as you always do. The marquee looks really, really good. They're doing such a great job, even light distribution, all the things you'd expect out of a lit up marquee. Now, this was kind of cool because I didn't expect this. This is the how to play instructions from the original arcade machine. Myself being an arcade junkie, I totally appreciate little details like this, so that's pretty neat if you ask me. When you scroll up on the bezel, you can see two golden axes wedged in between the arcade 1UP logo. I think this was a nice touch and looks really neat. And of course, then again, you can see the marquee there. It looks really, really good. As far as the control panel goes, they nailed this too. This looks very close, if not exact, to the original arcade machine. So great job, guys. Here's a closer look at it so you can see all the details and the artwork. I gotta say, they're just nailing out of the park on this cabinet as far as the artwork's concerned. Overall, guys, it looks pretty damn sick. All right, how about the controls? So the buttons and joysticks are all kind of run-of-the-mill arcade one-up stuff. They're not the best, but they'll get the job done, you know. The joysticks are actually halfway decent now. I think the buttons could use a little work. I wish they would just put buttons that engaged a little bit sooner. It seems like you have to push them down pretty far. As far as the main control, the main menu, it's on the far left. I wish it would have been the center left because those are primarily the places you'll be playing, but I'm not sure why they made that choice. Maybe they'll fix it in a later firmware release or something. One of my favorite things that Code Mystics does is they include the dip switch settings. So these would have been settings that the arcade owner would have been able to adjust. So having access to this really allows you to fine tune each game, whether it be you want it to be easier to play, or you want to reset the high scores, or you want to make it look different with scan lines on and off. This is a great addition, and it seems like a staple that Code Mystics includes all the time. All right, let's go over to some gameplay, and then we'll wrap things up. All right, one of the games I'm most excited for is actually Altered Beast. So I used to play the crap out of this on the Sega Genesis, but believe me, the quality of this arcade ROM versus the Sega Genesis is quite different. So if you grew up with it on the Sega Genesis and you've never played the arcade version, you'll probably be pretty happy because graphically, I think it's superior to the Sega Genesis. Although I love my Sega Genesis, so I can't, you know, bag on it or anything. So here's a quick comparison, just, you know, just for giggles. So the left is Sega Genesis and the right is arcade. And you can tell just from the first screen, right? I mean, you can tell a big difference. So anyways, you'll get to enjoy the arcade version on here, which is pretty damn cool. There are no console ROMs on this thing. 
All right, next up is Golden Axe. Again, this is the arcade version of the game, so those of you that remember playing it on the Genesis, you'll see a big upgrade because the arcade version's pretty sweet. Now, I did play this in the arcade as well, and I remember, you know, wanting it at home and going, man, if I only had it, and, you know, of course, they had a port to the Genesis, which was actually pretty good, by the way. But anyways, really not a lot to talk about as far as the emulation. I don't really have anything to say because the emulation is so good, so I think you'll be really happy. If these are games you love, then I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with this cabinet. Mission Next one. up is Shinobi. So Shinobi is another awesome Sega game. This came out in 1987, believe it or not, and I never played this in the arcade. So I played this on the Nintendo Entertainment System, also known as the NES. And so if you've played it on the NES and you've never played the arcade version, you're going to be really happy because uh, the NES version to me like didn't look very good, but I mean, it would have been a hard... Uh, it would have been hard for the NES to get graphics looking, you know, like this. So, anyways, it's a pretty fun game, actually. It's kind of a sleeper on the system, I think. It reminds me a little bit of Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, except, like, ten times better. I don't know, I was never really a big fan of Bad Dudes. Uh, Michael B. watches this, he's gonna be upset with me, because, uh, he, uh, he loves his Bad Dudes. So, anyways, I'm sorry, buddy. All right, we're rounding the corner here, and we're almost done. We got one more game after this. Now, Wrestle War seems like a missed opportunity to me because it's, again, that mix of vertical and horizontal games. Now, they put the bezels on the side, which make it more tolerable to play a vertical game on a horizontal screen, but I just feel like this could have been, you know, Alien Syndrome or even, like, Space Harrier, so I'm not really sure why the choice on this one. I don't... This is, like, a disposable game for me as far as this cabinet goes. All right, here it is, the headliner, Golden Axe, The Revenge of Death Adder. So this was an arcade game released by Sega in 1992. Now, this was a sequel to the original Golden Axe, okay? And the cool thing about it is it was never released outside of the arcade. So this arcade 1UP release is the first time it's seen a release outside of the arcade. No ports had ever existed of this. Now, it was powered by the Sega System 32 arcade board. So as 1UP keeps progressing, they're getting closer and closer to 3D. Model 1 and Model 2 would give us games like Virtua Racing and Daytona USA, Virtua Cop, all of those. So is this a taste of what's to come? I hope so. The gameplay is awesome, and it really pushes the limits of the arcade arcade one-up PCB. So guys, I don't know, I will wrap it up to final thoughts, but this is by far one of my favorite cabinets they've released, and I can't say enough good things about it. There's a couple little things that I pointed out that are, you know, issues or things I wish they would have done differently, but overall, I'm really happy with this release by arcade one-up. Hey guys, it's final thoughts time. So what do I think about the arcade one-up Revenge of Death Adder cabinet? Well, first of all, Thank you to Arcade 1UP for providing this cabinet to me for review. I really appreciate it. It is definitely one of my favorites. And I'll tell you a couple things really quick. I had a couple little gripes with it, but before I do that, there's two things I didn't mention in the review. One is the monitor. The monitor looks really great. It's the BOE 960p monitor. One might say it looks, how would I define it? I'd say bright and tight. It looks good from the front. It looks great from the side, so great viewing angles. And then it does have stereo speakers, but that's kind of like, Part of the package these days. All, all of the arcade one-ups pretty much come with stereo speakers at this point. And then it has the light-up marquee and the graphic riser. Now, it did sell out, but it sold out when arcade one-up was selling the cabinet directly. They are now going through GameStop, and then I think there's one other retailer in Canada, the Brick maybe, and it's for $100 more. So unfortunately, if you do want the cabinet and you still can get the cabinet, and I think it'll deliver around mid-December, you do need to go through those retailers and you are gonna pay a bit more for it. But I gotta say, I think it's worth it. Code Mystics, knocked it out of the park with the emulation. It's it's freaking awesome. The only real gripe I had is the it's not it's not a huge gripe, but it is one I wish they would fix is the main menu control system being the far left is kind of annoying. To me it should be the center left. Uh, that would make the most sense. So maybe they'll fix that in a future firmware release. The other things are more aesthetics. I wish the riser was black in the front instead of orange and then maybe the emblem was orange so but the majority was black and then I wish the side was actually not a duplication of the artwork, but just flat black. But again, this is all subjective. Some people might look at it and go, that's awesome. I just wish it looked different. I still think it looks cool. The other thing is, I don't really love Wrestle War. Wrestle War is like a throwaway title for me. It would have been cool to have Alien Syndrome or even um, Space Harrier. Those would have been my choices, but hey, you know, the rest of the lineup is really solid and, I'm, and I am enjoying it. The only other thing I'll mention is JC over at Tulsa Arcades has a light up riser. I'm going to do a subsequent video on that. Here's a sneak peek of what that looks like. I always love these light up riser things. They're just cool compliments to uh, 
you know, to your arcade cabinet. And if you have a dimly lit arcade room, they look really cool. But that's it. I'll have links in the description of all this stuff. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Put your comments below. Do you are you gonna get the Death Adder cabinet? Is this a is this a cabinet that you've been interested in? And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this and turn on notifications so you can be informed of future videos. That's it for now, guys. We will see you on the next one. Is that okay? No. Really? That way... <laughs> what? Oh my god, babe. What? What? Shut up, why? Because I think what you think you look like is not what you look like. I can't get any higher than that. I know. Okay, try again. I'm not going to do any better, I'm just saying.